And as we come on the air this evening, we're getting new details about a fire at a rooming house in South Omaha. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney and for Adrian Witzak. I'm Melissa Fry. We know two people were rushed from the scene, one in extremely critical condition. That fire broke out just before 2.30 at a home near 22nd and M. That's where our team coverage begins with KETV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich. We're about a block up from the house right now. It's just down that hill right there, and that is where we know those two people were taken out with injuries and taken to two separate hospitals, one in serious condition and one in extremely critical condition. Fire crews tell us, tell us they arrived on scene just before 2.30 today, and they saw black smoke coming from the house. They tell us they did have the fire under control just after about 2.45. They tell us the fire they believe started in the basement. That's where they concentrated their efforts. So they say this is an older house with a lot of small rooms. Here's what they tell us about fighting this fire. These houses are, are uh, basically a maze of, of smaller rooms. So you have more areas to search, but based on the, uh, the evidence at the beginning, uh, it was believed that it was started in the basements. Now we're told that this was a rooming house and there were a number of tenants inside. We are told that all of the others did make it out okay, aside from the two that were confirmed injured. Reporting live, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7. Thank you, Nicole. A number of people living there, a number of witnesses. Yeah, and they're talking with KETV News Watch 7's Chin Doan. She continues our team coverage live from the scene. Chin. And that's right. I just spoke with a tenant who says she knows one of the victims inside this fire. The tenant says that victim has lived here for about a year. I also spoke with the manager of the rooming house here. His name is John Lester. He tells me he doesn't know who the two injured were, and he lives down the street, just down the street right there, and he wasn't inside the building at the time, but here's how he found out about that fire. My old lady came out and said there's a fire down the street, and I came out and hurry up and ran down the street and talked to the assistant manager down there and he told me it was what's going on and that's all the smoke coming out. So I had to get hold of the owner and let him know about it. And Lester has managed this house for about the past 10 years. He says this fire has been the worst situation for everyone here. The manager also tells us the house is made of 22 rooms currently with about 22 tenants. Some stay here for a few weeks, others stay here for a few months. And here's how one tenant described this fire. I heard a ba big bang. It sounded like it came from apartment four. I opened the door, and all I seen was smoke in the hallway, and smoke was in my room. So I shut the door real quick, grabbed my flashlight so I can walk up the hallway, I walk down the hallway and up the steps so I can get out. Again, 22 rooms with, two t with 22 tenants for this rooming house. We've seen the Red Cross go from door to door to see if there's anyone inside any of these homes they could help. We've also spoken with other tenants who tell us they're going to stay with some neighbors and some friends and family for the night. And we're going to stay here and keep you updated on this situation. Reporting live near 22nd and N, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7. All right, Chin, thanks very much.